What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Liga, one half and duo, and I'm here to do something, do a little compare contrast. Now, alright, I wanted to drop in a little link in what this guy said the Vita is the greatest console ever made, but I'm too lazy, so I'll just keep on going. So, here is about the Vita and the 3DS, okay? The 3DS and the Vita. Now, you could go to every other channel and tech channel and you find all the techies and everything about the, how the Vita is more superior than the v, and then the 3DS when it comes to power. And that's not, I, that's, and, and, it, and that's 100% true. Now, the Vita has a lot of great games on it. Just like the 3DS. See, a lot of people say, "Oh, they don't." No, they just have a lot more specific games that, for me, that I like. A lot of RPGs, Japanese-centric games, really, some fighting games as well too. That's what I like, so that's why I picked up the Vita. Now, the DS has some of those same games too, but it has also a caveat of Nintendo games, and that's the, the, that's the basically that, that's. That's not the cherry on the top. That's the that's basically the cone. Is the Nintendo games, the base, the regular vanilla ice cream, and then maybe some different flavors and stuff, which is the third party. The cherry on the top is it's a nice, um, easy package. Now, both of these, it's pretty cool. You have this. You have, of course, the XL screen. Then you have the touch screen below, as you can see right here. I got me tons of um, on my thing software to go play on my 3DS. Of course, I have a folder there that has more stuff. I just separate them. All right. So, but I ain't got nothing for my my thing yet. I'm gonna be picking that up now. Like the OLED screen on this on the Vita, very sharp, very thing. Right now, I'm shooting this in 4K for anybody needs to know. So if you do wanna, you know, make it look cool, whatever. I don't know, you, you graphically or not, it is that. So well, anyway, and it HD on everything. So the OLED screen on this screen is very nice. I understand the touchpad on the back. The screen here is touch. That's pretty cool. That's all great. I would say this right here. Love the thumb pad, the, the D-pad. The D-pad on this thing is very nice. I like it. Very, very, very good. I like it. It's, it looks like it's not connected, but it is. I like the, the thumbnail on that. The um, thumb uh, D-pad. It's like I love the D-pad. The original D-pad and it's in the created. Like that. Now, this thing can put some great graphical games. No so, fans about it. This now cannot to a degree but put some if you got the right out style and the right game it looks very nice cool colorful cartoony games it looks very nice in here but this would always outdo it when it comes to that no make us of course not your fans about that clearly when you got some games like these would lose like the super art style and anime style oh man yeah this this really does good now I want to talk about, I guess to say why this console, this console right here basically is hard to find, it's no longer around, while this one dominated any, anything. Now, I'll state this once and I'll state it again. Everybody always think power, and this is a great example right here, they think power creates great games. It does not. It never has. The best selling game and the best, uh, the best selling game and the best, um, how should I say the best of the game and the best acclaimed games, reviews or whatever, top review, critique reviews were games that just had a had something that those games excel at. Power does not mean nothing. It's a tool, but gaming idea. And this is gonna be a part of my S, uh, behind the game thing. But gaming idea, imagine imagination is what makes the great games. Always had been, always will be. Cause I don't see a lot of people they went to buy Crytek, um, Crytek when um, Cry, uh, Crisis when it came out, with the Cryo Engine and everything. Oh, I never go get that. Never know. They didn't. 
They just do it because they want it as a demo to say that they're rigged to hang on the power. That's it. The graphics caught everything. But no. This right here, this right here is powerful and it looks good. But it didn't do what this did. Now you can say, oh, well, the PlayStation 4. Yeah, the PlayStation 4 sell. But the thing about it is the software library still, the, the attachment rate is still horrible. People and people don't play PlayStation games on a PlayStation 4, sadly. And, and again, I'll say average. So if you're a PlayStation gamer and you play the games on your PlayStation 4, you're cool. But if you combine every all the 50 million people who own the PlayStation 4, that's the ten percent of y'all really play y'all games like that. Everybody else do it for movies and Netflix and every other thing, which is sad, but it's what it is. It is what it is. Now, this thing right um, now about the okay. So now we have the the I'll say next thing, the, the thumb pads. Don't really like these. I do like how you have the little rubber to see your hands don't slide off, whatever. Pretty good. But I'm not really loving these that much. It just feels to me, it feels like it could snap off easy to me. That's all. I'm not saying it's a it's it's a it's a deal breaker or nothing, just feel weird because what happened is I got so used to my thumb dropping into the, the, the suction hole right here and it slides so easy. I don't, I don't feel that weird, that, that weirdness of the tilt that I'm used to it with that with the sliding pad when it comes to this. Now of course the game pad is a whole different story. The game pad for the Wii U of course is up like you said, you see right there, it's upset like that. But it's a whole, you know, of course it's bigger, so it don't feel weird to me. So, I like... I like, like I say, I love the slide. I like the slide pad. To me, it feels way better. My thumb rests in it, and and does so good in that, in that regard. Now, next thing will be the battery life. The battery life for this thing is this is out. This this thing right here outdoes the battery life of this, of course. No, OLED screen makes sense. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, this just is just Wi-Fi, but it, it makes sense right there for that to happen. Um, touchpad in the back, yeah, I don't see them, I, I, I basically I'm not going to buy for that feature. See, I like other people, if the feature, this was features, and they did, and it's funny, they say, oh, they don't take, they don't take, uh, use the 3D. Well, they have a touch screen in the back, touch screen in the front, and barely any games do the exact same thing as well. So why don't we call it a spade a spade in that one? But no, we don't. Now, here's one. Here's something that kills me. When I got the when I, I when, when this thing is dead and I plug it up, I cannot charge. It, I cannot turn it on and play games still or whatever. This one I can. My little gripe, some people say it doesn't happen to them, but it happens to me. I, if it's, this is dead or close to dead, I plug it up and I'm basically dead and I plug it up. Then it takes a while, I gotta get, let it charge a little bit, then it, then it flashes because it flashes the battery thing. Okay. Now this doesn't, you plug it in, as long as you got a power source, even if it's dead, it's gonna play. The next thing about this game, which is to me, is really weird, is. Which killed it? It kills it right there then. And it's this. The SD, um, the basically the, the card. Right now, I don't, I'm don't. i getting a card being shipped to me. Because it's hard to find. The memory card, everybody was talking about, oh, the memory card for the 3DS, you gotta take out the back and put it in there. Yeah, at least they use micro SD that you can put it in whatever size you want in there and go at it. And the size compared to this is way different in that regard. So anyway, we're the proprietary. Oh, sorry about the proprietary game. I mean, I mean, a memory card. And the problem with that was, it's funny, you know, people are like, oh, well, this is re this is not region free, but this is region free. Yeah, and I'll get to that later on in a quick video. But this is region free. But then the memory card is locked, and the memory cards are not cheap. 
you're still looking at like $40 at the most yeah $40 for the 32 gig and a hundred I was a hundred dollars for the six for the six sixty four gig really crazy that's why I'm buying most of my games physical not digital or nothing like that Just use it for save files and that's about it that thing weird the, the memory card is what kills the v, what kills Vita one which is weird that you would think that Sony makes they make their own SD cards too so why don't they just put in SD let the SD cards go but no they didn't which is the weird part so that's what killed it off the most because of the SD cards the prices were ridiculous and you gotta spend ex 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 basically another hundred dollars just to get a good memory card for that like you see I, and then to get I got 32 gig and I was, uh, basically I'm gonna get a 16 gig memory card for this this right here has a 32 gig in it cost nine dollars yes I have to take off the back and put it in but you know what once I put it in and the majority of those games you see are digital games games that full digital games full digital games right here oops uh, nope uh oh made a mistake right there back out But these, like I said, full digital games that I got Mario, like that, um, in, in Azuma, Puzzle and Dragons, Gunvolt, Shovel Knights. My hands the sad part. These are four games that I have on my system. That I have on my system right here. And uh, uh, there's the next one. It's full on my system right here. The card I have, the card I have, only could do four to six games. The 16 gigabytes. That this thing right here has basically the management of. I got it. I got it. Once again, you got to say Nintendo. How do you condense this? One thing this you got to say is. How Nintendo really cold their games and make it, you know, they compress the games that it don't be so much onto the system. Now, like I said, the Vita, very good. You know, like I said, OLED screen, very, very bright. As you can see, it should be, you know, like I said, with this 4K video, it should be easy. See, I mean, like I said, I'm not gonna buy no PlayStation no time soon that I think of that I need right now. But you have the PlayStation 3D link. You have the PlayStation 4 link, so that and that's pretty cool right there. That's basically you would think that would be another thing that'd be cool. You could take some of your games on the move, another feature that should be pushed, but because that's what the Switch is all about. But nobody, but this died down. And you think I don't, and I don't even think the Switch will have the battery life of this. It might, it might not depend because Nintendo is very cool with how they do certain things. I like give them that, but it's still something that. I think should this would have been pretty cool to have this to walk around and play your games on there but people didn't want that <laughs> that's weird I give Sony the innovation that they could do that and the switch coming with a different view but at least they did it but nobody t took it and that's sad and it goes to what I was saying back when I was when I first started like I said Nintendo doesn't just only innovate the main line and the main, you know, that's what I'm saying Atari came with the first wireless controller, but it was the WaveBird that mainstream it onto every, everything else, everybody uses it. Uh, Will the Switch do that? Doing what this did? This was innovate, did, did it, but that whole console thing was the, the Switch might mainline it. That's the difference, and that's why I point out. But anyway, I want to point out one major thing that I didn't know, and I'll say this right here. I always say do your research and I'll take this L right here. I did my research, trust me, but there are certain things I did not know myself about the Vita. And I'm basically giving in the comparison stuff right now. And one of the things right now that I also did not know about was see 
We ha so I have the Vito. Right now I have a cartridge in there, which is basically Dragon's Crown. So okay, let's go play Dragon's Crown. Alright, good. Atlas, everything. I'm cool with that. Love to give you know people what it did do. Now look what it says now. You must insert memory card to use application with Vita card. Okay. That's I did not know you had to do that. You, you can't play the game. Even okay, see you don't have to save, okay, I got that, but I thought that the solid state um, um game card would have some type of memory on it, but I was wrong. So let's go with something right here. Let me see. Um, Okay, move this over for a second. This is my old, this is my old DS, 3DS. Um, I have the original one. I took everything from this thing, put it on here. Still have it because I just love. I just, you know, I mean, this is my Zelda version of it, of course. So, let's see. Power on, basically, because I, I once I wiped it, I never really put nothing back on it, and I think this thing is like super dead. Yep, batteries, a little power, flashing, so basically it's gonna it's gonna turn on, on off its own power. Now going back to the reason I'm saying that going back to what the, what I said about the video, which is weird to me. So with that said, I want to show two things that I that's what I was saying. I was bringing up. So let me take that, pop this out. Here, the game cartridge. I'm basically gonna put in Hyrule Warriors Legends, which won better on this than on this, as they say. You see, it, it just died. So what I'm gonna do is do what I thought I could do with the Vita. I'm gonna uh, plug it in. It's there. While doing that, I also will. I wanna, it's hard to do two things, but I want to make sure that it's not. You don't select it's edited or nothing. It's like putting the game in there. Okay. Turn on. And there you go. Game is basically it's running. And I could play the game. I didn't. I couldn't do that with a Vita. It was dead. I plugged it up. I had to wait, wait, wait more than like 15 minutes so you could get some kind of juice to, to power on. This I didn't have to do that with. Okay, as you can see right now, um, it's because it's trying to focus in. There you go. You can see. Internet is not in, is enabled. This is like I said. I never touched this thing until whatever. Just put in a new. Just put in a new. Um. Just put in that game right there. So let's open up Highway Warriors. No memory card is in this thing too. I'll show you that as well. thinking oh well it's a uh, nothing Koi Tecmo reinforce games running and what well, you see because it's an old 3D this it takes a while to load up but I want to show you here Nothing inside, nothing. No DS, no SD card, or nothing. No memories on that. But I can go. And go and play a game. That's no memory. Why? Because the memory is on the card itself. That's the that's something that I, I think is kind of different. That's weird. So the game has memory, 
is and this thing is basically SD slated um, um, graphics card while the uh, while this one is a solid slate graphics um, um, cartridge sorry let me see here give me a second here I gotta hurry up because sometimes shooting 4k it, uh, it automatically knocks out it doesn't go because a 4k takes out a lot of memory the phone stops it after the, come on come on up okay so this is their cartridge that's their cartridge right there so I'm getting on a DS that was dead plugged up has the memory from the, when I played on the other stuff of course com, because you can see it says complete but I could play the game without the memory that's my thing that's something I'm kind of surprised that Vita overlooked as well too that is, that is, that is weird to me so basically it looked like Sony went with more power as most other people are. see this is the, this is a good example of y'all trying to say power and that's why a lot of people lost in the handheld market to Nintendo because people went with power other than and there you go Oops! <laughs> oh, nobody broke it. No, I didn't. <laughs> but let me just pause it there for a second. <laughs> Sorry. So, pause it. Uh, no, let's do, just go home. Okay. Turn the power off. So, well, I'm dropping stuff, jeez. So there you go. You have a Sony one and you have a Nintendo DS one. This is solid slated. This is SD um, style compatibility. And this one holds memory, this does not. And you think solid slated should be no problem. But this is an example of that whole power argument that people always go with. Power does not create great games. It has never really covered a tool. Ingenuity and a game design makes great game. Cause you have the power. I mean, you see many good games that have power, but the game design is shitty and it just don't work. And that's why I think this Vita failed. It went for power and technology other than simplistic and practicality. I can play my games on my go. I can enjoy them. I don't need a lot of stuff to play my games. I don't need the internet. I don't need a lot of stuff. Bam. This don't need to end it to the degree I'm gonna give you that, but still, it, this thing, the Vita has things that's pretty cool with the whole off play and everything. You could go and you store it on here, but you need that, but that, that memory card is what kills it. It really does. And to need that, it needs this, you can't play this without the memory card on it and all that stuff. That's what killed this Vita, the, the, the Vita, which is sad. It's a great system that I see so far. I'm gonna play once I play more, play games on it. I have fun with it. I will, you know, be alright with it. But man, seriously, sorry, I gotta give it to. Like I said, I will be playing my video more than this. I might play this a little bit more because of the the, the type of games I'm getting, like these kind of long games. RPGs, but I have RPGs on here like Final Fantasy Face, I still got to defeat and everything. But other than that, that's the comparison, and that's my video to you guys. Hope you guys had a good Christmas. And you know my usual stance: there's no perfect games out there. It was perfect to use, not perfect to me. It was perfect to me, it's not perfect to you. Simply enjoy those games on any console, no matter what. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my games over here and enjoy them on my Vita, the 3DSs. Yeah, it is what it is. Peace.